Gamma Secretes is actually the bachelor of the cell. I guess Georgia is gonna get a rose. This is Dr. Georgia Frost coming from the Lee Lab in Chemical Biology. Good luck, Georgia. Does anyone watch the reality dating show, The Bachelor? It's okay, you don't have to admit it. I've never seen it either. But I am going to tell you today all about the most eligible bachelor in biology. Enzymes are vital to almost every function in our bodies. They are proteins which act as catalysts. That is, they provide a biological assist to speed up necessary reactions. And one such enzyme, gamma secretase, is basically a giant pair of scissors. He goes around and cuts up other proteins. In fact, gamma secretase cuts up many different proteins, and that's why we can think of him as the bachelor of the cell. Instead of a pool of romantic interest, like in the show, gamma secretase has a pool of protein partners that he can cut up. And while over 90 of these partners have been identified, our lab focuses on two, Notch and APP. And unlike the outcome of the show, Gamma secretase's preference for these two partners can have serious consequences. Notch, cutting of Notch is implicated in several cancers, whereas cutting of APP plays a causative role in Alzheimer's disease. So our lab works to develop ways to shift gamma secretase's preference towards or away from certain partners. And my research focuses specifically on APP. When gamma secretase cuts APP, it produces a protein known as amyloid beta. And this aggregates and forms plaques, which are the hallmark feature of Alzheimer's disease. Gamma secretase inhibitors have entered, but unfortunately failed, clinical trials for Alzheimer's disease. These drugs basically put gamma secretase to sleep, so he doesn't cut anything up. And this has intolerable side effects. So we want to develop ways to shift gamma secretase's preference away from APP, but without affecting how much he likes other partners, such as Notch. Drugs that achieve this goal are known as gamma secretase modulators. But much like the TV show, the brain is pretty exclusive, and so getting drugs in can be a challenge. So we thought cells must have their own way to shift gamma secretase's preference in response to changes in the body. We can think of this as an executive producer who gives the bachelor suggestions on who to date in response to TV ratings. So we searched for such an endogenous gamma secretase modulator, and we found one. He's an inflammation-driven protein. So that means when there's a state of inflammation, which is characteristic of the Alzheimer's brain, this protein suggests to gamma secretase that APP would make a great partner, and this results in an increase in amyloid beta production. And we are currently working on how to exploit this relationship between inflammation and gamma secretase's preference as a potential treatment for Alzheimer's disease.